Hello friends! We are steadily moving towards 460,000 subscribers, so let's do it as soon as possible. Click on the like button and subscribe to the channel, because it motivates us to continue to produce quality football content. And here is the latest news. Let's go! Marseille signed Pierre-Marie Bamayang for free. The contract is for three years. Provincial's press service reports. Bayern presented Kim min -jai. The newcomer chose the third number. Manchester City are considering Leon Ford, Bradley Barcola as a potential replacement for Yad Maris. 90 main reports. Lazio has acquired New York City striker Tati Castellanos for 15 million euros. The capacity of the renovated Santiago Bernabeu will be 85,000 seats. Real Madrid invested 893 million euros in their construction, Marca reports. Marseille is interested in signing Joaquim Mehle. Good relations between Atalanta and the French club may contribute to the transfer, Tutu Mercato notes. Burnley have signed winger Nathan Redmond on a two-year deal following his departure from Besiktas. Milan are close to completing the double signing of RB Salzburg forward Noah Okafor and Villarreal winger Samuel Chukweze, Ruleva claims. Bayern hopes that signing of Kyle Walker from Manchester City will encourage Tottenham striker Harry Kane to move to Munich even more. Atletico Madrid has expressed a concrete interest to Montpellier for their striker LEYE. The player is interested in joining the club, Foot Mercato reports. PSG goalkeeper John Ligia de Naruma and his wife were robbed at their home in Paris. The footballer and his girlfriend, Alessia Elefante, were tied up, but the couple managed to escape to a nearby hotel where employees called the police. Subsequently, the footballer and his girlfriend were taken to the hospital and received medical care. The robbers stole about 500,000 euros worth of belongings and are wanted. Nottingham Forest have agreed a £15 million deal to sign Manchester United winger Anthony Langa. Bayern Munich will consider Liverpool's Fabinho if his move to Al Etihad suddenly fails, Sky Germany notes. Parma's goalkeeper, the legendary Gianluigi Buffon, may soon announce his retirement. Barcelona and Porto are very close to an agreement for the sale of Nico Gonzalez. The Catalans will have a buyback loss, journalist Tony Juan Marti reports. After terminating his contract with Barcelona, Samuel Umtiti will join Lille. He has already successfully passed a medical test. We don't need 30 to 35 players. We need to be right in how we choose profile and balance is most important. The Athletic quotes Chelsea coach Mauricio Pochettino. Bayer will earn 60 million euros for Moussa Diaby's move to Aston Villa, the second most expensive Leverkusen sale after Kai Havertz's departure to Chelsea. Torino has been offered the services of former Wolverhampton midfielder Joao Moutinho, who is currently a free agent, Sky Italia reports. Atletico have extended the contract with striker Giuliano Simeone until 2028 and loaned him to Alaves, the club's press service reports. Dimitri Payet left Marseille after the expiration of his contract. Striker search? We will do everything in our power to get the right man in. We know our targets. We will put the effort in to get things done. BBC reports the words of Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag. Borussia Dortmund are interested in Bayern Munich midfielder Marcel Zabitzer, but the player himself wants to play in the Premier League. Paula Dybala's agents have arrived in Italy for talks with Roma about their client's future. The meetings will take place in the next one, two days, according to Corriere dello Sport. Real Madrid midfielder Luka Modric has been named the best Croatian player of the season for the seventh time in a row. Kefren Turam and Jean Claire Tedibo, both of whom were linked with big money moves this summer, will stay at Nice. Arsenal are once again looking to buy Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Luiz after failing to make a move last winter, The Sun reports. Bayern are expected to make a new improved bid for Harry Kane when Tottenham returned from their preseason tour, Sport 1 says. Romelu Lukaku tried to resume negotiations with Inter but was rejected once again. Barcelona held a presentation of newcomer Oriol Romeo acquired from Girona. And now, let's move on to the main news of the release. Lionel Messi made his Inter Miami debut in the first round of the League's Cup group stage. 
In the match against the Mexican Cruz Azul, with a score of 1-1, the Argentine scored a 94th minute free kick and won the game for his team. It was just like in the movies. An unnamed club in Saudi Arabia plans to offer interest striker Lautaro Martinez a four-year contract with a salary of 60 million euros per season, TIG Sports reports. The Argentine has not yet responded to the Saudi interest, so negotiations have not yet begun. Inter plans to keep Martinez for the next season and can set the highest price tag as the player's contract with the Nerazzurri is valid until the summer of 2026. Previously, Martinez was in Real Madrid's Raider as well as Chelsea and Manchester United. Paris Saint-Germain have made Atalanta striker Rasmus Hoyland their transfer target. The Parisians have already begun negotiations to sign the Dane and hope to steal him away from Manchester United. Yesterday, new information emerged that PSG sporting advisor Luis Campos has been watching Hoyland for several seasons and has been in contact with the players in Tarash in the past few weeks. But the obstacle is that in the spring, the forward agreed on the terms of a personal contract with United. However, now the Red Devils do not want to pay 70 to 80 million euros for Hoyland, as Atalanta demands. At the same time, this is not a problem for PSG, but they, on the contrary, lack the players yes. Brighton midfielder Moises Caicedo is very disappointed that he has not yet joined Chelsea, journalist Ben Jacobs writes. Caicedo joined the Seagulls in Philadelphia on the eve of summer preseason matches and openly told Brighton coach Roberto de Zerbi and the club's management that he wants to join Chelsea. The Ecuadorian believes that the recent offer of £70 million from the Londoners was more than fair and Brighton should have accepted it. Caicedo's agent also puts pressure at times. Nevertheless, Albion are unwilling to let their player go for less than £100 million, an amount that is considered absurd at Stamford Bridge. The potential transfer of Manchester City fullback Kyle Walker to Bayern Munich is causing frustration in the Munich locker room. The problem is that the record maester are gonna offer the 33-year-old Walker a two-year contract with an option to extend for another season. Belt has learned that Bayern striker Thomas Müller and goalkeeper Manuel Neuer are unpleasantly surprised that the deal offered to Walker contradicts the club's long-standing rule that players over the age of 30 can only receive one-year contracts. At some point, 33-year-old Müller and 37-year-old Neuer fell under the policy. The German club had great difficulty getting them to extend their contracts only until 2024. And now the exception that Bayern is planning to make for Walker offends the team's veterans. They are crazy, aren't they? PSG president Nasser al Khelaifi wants to keep Kylian Mbappe at all costs and prevent him from joining Real Madrid, Defensa Central writes. To do this, the Persians intend to offer the striker a new contract for 10, 11 years and 1 billion euros. By agreeing, Mbappe can become one of the highest paid athletes in history, while his contract will be the longest in European football. Members of the PSG board of directors are confused by Madrid's activity regarding the striker. They asked the Emir of Qatar, the owner of the Paris club, to resolve the situation with Mbappe as soon as possible and reduce the level of concern within the team in preparation for the 2023-24 season. In response, instructions came from Doha to convince Mbappe to sign a contract that could be called almost for life. But there is also completely opposite information from Fabrizio Armano. The transfer guru says that PSG has put Mbappe up for transfer and Kylian has been excluded from the squad that will go to the preseason training camp in Japan. The situation is getting tense. Real Madrid has renewed their interest in Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic and is ready to work on a transfer if the Italians are willing to negotiate. On August 3rd, the clubs will meet in a face-to-face -face game at the preseason training camp in the United States. It is expected that at that time, Real Madrid and Juventus managers will try to discuss Vlahovic's transfer. The Bianconeri expect to earn at least 80 million euros for the Serbian and Los Blancos are taking it seriously, given that head coach Carlo Ancelotti is pleading for a new top-class striker amid the loss of Karim Benzema. Friends, Ronaldo has challenged Messi and you have to see this battle on Football Club. Click on the video and vote for your favorite. Enjoy! Thank you all! and have a nice one. See you in a bit.